I've grown quite fond of Clumber Park over the last month or so, and especially this area here. I've just been and filmed the hornet's nest, which lies in one of the trees that you can see just in the distance there. But I'm walking now to have a look and check on another of Clumber's specialities, and it's an eight-legged speciality, and it's the wasp spider. I haven't been for quite a while now, and so I'm quite looking forward to seeing them. But isn't this just a fabulous place to walk around, especially on a day like this? Well, this is the area where the wasp spider is and largely confined to the two areas of Yonkers there. There's a few other little bits of Yonkers, but it's these two bits here where the spiders generally occur. They get in other parts, but for those of you who have a lot of more dealing than I do with wasp spider, you'll probably think, well, I would never look here. And, well, neither would I. Because wasp spider is normally found in areas of long grass, sort of unkempt places, roadside verges, waste ground, etc. Not in somewhere that's been heavily grazed this year, like this particular area, as at Clumber. Anyway, I'm going to see if we can find any. Well, this video hasn't gone particularly well. Certainly not gone as planned because I can't find any female wasp spiders. They appear to be done for the year. And if they are done for the year, which they appear to be, they're done earlier than last year. The worrying thing is that from the evidence that I've seen and located here, namely just five egg sacs from five females because they were all in different areas, and this one here in this clump of heather, indicates that it's been a shorter and poorer season than last year. And I know that's because last year, virtually all the females that were present in this area, and that numbered over 20 or so, all had two egg sacs or were about to produce a second egg sac. I've just found the five egg sacs from where five females were early this year. And that's worrying. I think that we've got every chance of losing the species as a breeding species in Nottinghamshire, losing it almost as fast as it arrived. Only discovered last year I still think that this spider is 
desiring of some protection and that protection only means a little bit of fencing about 20 30 yards of fencing and about half a dozen eight or so fence posts that's all it takes and probably would just take two blokes half an hour but it seems that this remarkable spider that created these remarkable egg sacs isn't worthy of that i still have to question the well how can i say it the keenness to protect our invertebrates in nottinghamshire i really do and you've got a fabulous invertebrate as the wasp spider. I know people don't, a lot of people don't like spiders, but it's an absolutely fabulous thing to have. And it's more easier for people to locate this than it is the real rarity, which is just about 100 yards from where I'm sat now. And that's the Natus Formicinus, or the diamond spider. But that gets no protection either. Everywhere is overgrazed. I think the grazing needs to be cut down in this area and where Thanatus former seeing is too. But, like I've said, I will be surprised if numbers are up next year on this year. And next year's numbers are totally dependent on what's in here. And in the other four egg sacs that remain. Lose these and we've lost the wasp spider as far as we know in Nottinghamshire. And I think that's a hell of a shame. Trouble is, there's not many people who think they're the same.